Well, I, in general, I paint in this, I like this location here where actually you can't see it, but the river's just right over there, the sugar. Um, but in this particular spot, I love these old black willows, and I wanted to use this one in a painting. I've been looking at it for a number of years, and I like this little old oxbow that's around the bottom of it in the water slash snow in it. Um, so it's mostly the willow and for a lot of these, a lot of times the stuff that that I pick is, um, you know, it, it reminds me of places where I was a kid, you know, we used to, I grew up in a small town and we spent all our time out in the country. As kids, you know, we had forts and it was often along a, a, a stream, not unlike the sugar, um, that had black willows along it. And they were just really neat trees and we, they make, they have all kinds of small dead branches that make really good firewood. So we used to sort of select those spots for our, where we were hanging out and camping. And I, at this stage, I keep it real, loose like I said I'm mostly instead of sitting here and drawing it all out first I'm just draw you could think of it as just drawing with a paintbrush to get started to where I want stuff I pretty much pick the composition just by walking back and forth um, you know from where do I want to actually set myself when I start painting and Some, some people sketch it all out on paper and sort of do it with a formula of some sort, but for me it's almost always just by eye. What I feel makes a balance to a reasonable composition. Interesting stuff going on in it between the, the vegetation and the old oxbow, the river, like I say, which we can't see right now, but it's right near here. And so, and it reminds me of, like I said of earlier, of spots where I, where I hung out as a kid, you know. I think I, I pretty much imprinted on this kind of stuff. To me, the, I mean, there's, whether it's Wisconsin or wherever, there's a, there's a gazillion, you know, interesting places, but what I find I'm mostly attracted to and what's meaningful to me are places that, um, that take me back to my beginnings, you know, where I spent my time as a kid, either with my, my compadres or, or um, with my father in the field. So as, as I find myself being attracted to different spots over and over there they really are the kind of places where I spent so much time in my childhood I feel like they have a meaning a personal meaning to me it's not just a place but in other words there's a there's there's a person there's something personal to it it's, it's it's not just a tree you know but rather when I look at for instance this black willow I see all the black willows that I that I've known over you know <laughs> over my life, and I I I think about you know camping under them or using parts of them for firewood or it all sort of fits into the into the picture. Oh heavens, this is less than two percent, four percent of the painting. Usually when I'm out, I'll. Oh, you know, a couple hours to get it roughed into the point where I'm I'm willing to to move on to the next stage, and that's you know I sort of run out of gas a little bit as part of it, but also um, the light changes so much. You know, not so important now at the beginning stages, but when I come back and start working on the final where I, what I really want. Um, then I don't want to be painting two different kinds of light. So when I um, come back, 
I'll pick the light that I want, which in this case will be late afternoon light, and then I'll start focusing more on on the color part because now I've got my placement of shapes and um, to some extent values, although not to the extremes that they'll be in the painting. But yeah, so it becomes a guide. It almost becomes a paint by number deal when as I keep coming back and putting more paint into it, um, and I can focus on the color, the values, and I don't have to quote unquote think so much about the placement of the different shapes. Yeah, because that's that's what I'm doing at this point in time. I paint like that because I do like it. It makes I feel like I get the kind of results I want by doing it this mm -hmm. way.